The demand for electricity is rising every day. 70% of fuel used in Thailand's electricity generation is natural gas, which is a fuel source that will be used up in the near future. While alternative energy like solar power, wind power and hydropower cannot be used as the main energy source to generate enough electricity to fulfill people's needs. Under this circumstance, we may face an energy crisis. Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand, or EGAT, then has conducted research and sought for energy sources to be used in secure electricity generation. It has been found that coal is the fuel that is suitable to ensure energy security in the future because coal reserves are plenty and can be used to produce electricity for a long time. Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand has also selected Clean Coal Technology, a proper technology that provides environmental management system. The power plant using Clean Coal Technology is the proper answer to the energy security as well as the environmental management. Humanity needs happiness. It cannot be denied that electricity is a type of energy that helps create the happiness in life. Shall we take a little time to learn about the advantages of this clean coal technology power plant? Before we get to know the Clean Coal Technology Power Plant, let's learn about the coal we will use to generate electricity. Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand will import the high-quality coal from overseas, including sub-bituminous and bituminous, which provide high calorific value and low sulfur content. The coal will be transported by sea in a closed system, Heading to Banklongrua port, a 10,000 ton cargo ship will deliver the coal of only 8,000 tons per trip. The shipping is done two ships per day and only in the daytime, following the Thai tables of Hydrographic Department Royal Thai Navy, with the vessel speeds not more than 20 kilometers per hour. Once the coal cargo arrives at Banklongrua port, the next step is to transport the coal to the power plant via conveyor belt by using the screw elevator to suck and transfer the coal to the conveyor belt. This process will be conducted in a closed system to prevent coal dust emission. Coal transportation route in the closed conveyor system from the port to the power plant is about 8.7 kilometers. The first two kilometers of the coal conveyor partly covers mangrove swamps and natural canals. Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand has kept in mind the importance of the environment and the society and came up with a transportation design for this part to be conveyed through the underground tunnel in a closed system under the depth of less than 30 meters to minimize the effects on nature. After that, the coal will be conveyed through a closed system at the ground level with a distance of 6.7 kilometers to the power plant. Public roads will be built for the benefit of the people in the area. Sound barriers will be constructed while trees will be planted to be the sound absorbing front for the nearby communities. Moreover, in case the conveyor has to cut through any existing roads or canals, the conveyor will be elevated. More U-turns will be built and in some areas, footbridges will be constructed to provide convenience for transportation and maintain the way of life in the community. When the coal conveyor arrives at the main storage building, which is a closed system with a capacity of 480,000 tons, the coal will be kept under the water sprinkler system that is installed as a protection measure against coal dust emission and self-ignition of coal. 
During the process of co-transportation from Ban Kong Ruo Port to the power plant, Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand has implemented the control management system and the technology that is modern and friendly to the environment and the community. Clean Co Technology Power Plant of Krabi is a modern power plant with an environment concern technology. We apply ultra supercritical technology, which is the technology that escalates the overall electricity generating procedure more effectively, comparing to the previous technology. Therefore, we can reduce the level of fuel consumption. There are many steps in the electricity generating procedure. Starting by transferring the co into the co pulverizer. which grinds the coal into powder. Then blows it along with the air into the combustion chamber. When the coal burns, the heat energy is released and transfer to the water in the pipes around the chamber's wall. That increases the water temperature to the boiling point and becomes high pressure steam. Then the steam will accumulate through the pipes to spin the steam turbine mounted to the generator. This will rotate the shaft mounted to the generator. The magnetic field will circle through the coil inside and generate the electricity. The steam that passes through the steam turbine will go to the condenser and transfer the heat to the water in the cooling system. The steam is then condensed back into water. After the steam becomes water, it will be bored into steam again in the combustion chamber to re-spin the turbine. The overall cycle takes place in the closed system. The cooling system is used to condense the steam from the electricity generation into fluid for repeated use. The cooling tower takes the outsource water to exchange the heat with the steam in the condenser. This increases the temperature of the cooling water. Then, the water needs to be passed to the cooling tower to lower its temperature by emitting the steam. Moreover, the water will be taken to the reservoir to adjust its temperature as close as the temperature of the water source outside before it is sent back to the natural water source. The ultra supercritical technology we have chosen helps increase the efficiency of the power plant's environmental management and removes mass pollutants in the air to be below the legal measure. The management procedure on the contamination of oxides of nitrogen, mercury vapor, mercury contaminated dust, lead, arsenic and cadmium and sulfur dioxide is done in the following processes. In removal process of oxides of nitrogen or NOx with SCR technology or selective catalytic reduction, NOx will be removed first by spraying ammonia to react with NOx through catalyst. 
and be separated into water and nitrogen, which are the main components in the air. NOx is now removed in this process. The next step is the mercury vapor collection. This helps remove mercury more than 90% by using activated carbon injection technology or ACI that injects the carbon to absorb the existing mercury vapor. The powdered coal then disperses with other dust and mass. The next process uses an electrostatic principle called electrostatic precipitator or ESP. This method applies the principle of electric potential difference to induce the dust and fly ash to negative charge and induce the collecting plate to positive charge. This makes the dust and fly ash flow to accumulate on the collecting plate that will be kept in the silo within the power plant's area, prepared by Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand. Lastly, sulfur oxide is removed with flue gas desulfurization technology or FGD. The water mixed with ground limestone is sprayed from the top to react with the floating sulfur oxide contributing to the production of gypsum. As you can see, electricity generation using the clean coal technology also offers byproducts, including bottom ash obtained from the coal burning process, as well as fly ash and gypsum obtained from the air mass reduction technology used during the burning process. Moreover, these byproducts can be used in industrial sector to further drive the economy. With a dedicated commitment in exploring and researching on electrical energy, Electricity Generating Authority of Thailand believes that the Clean Co Technology power plant can be practically implemented and will be an alternative that can create energy security. With the procedure that is clean, safe and friendly to the environment and the community, with good management and ability to generate electricity efficiently. Clean Co technology is a suitable alternative that can generate the greatest benefit for the sustainable energy for everyone.